The overall goal of this procedure is to directly pattern cells in entirely aqueous environments. This is accomplished by first dissolving long-chain polymers such as polyethylene glycol and dextrin in separate tubes containing cell culture medium. The second step is to trypsinize, harvest, pellet, and resuspend cells at the desired seeding density in one or both polymer solutions. Next, the polymer solutions are dispensed onto a cell culture dish. The incompatibility of the two polymers allows spatial patterning of the two fully aqueous liquids. Cells can be included in either polymer solution or in both polymer solutions to produce a variety of patterns. The final step is to remove the polymer solutions once the cells have been allowed to adhere for four hours or longer and replace it with culture medium. Ultimately, bright field or fluorescence microscopy can be used to confirm cell patterning. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like microcontact printing is that cells are patterned in an entirely aqueous environment with simple tools like micropipetters. This method can be used for tissue engineering to assess cell migration and to investigate cell-to-cell -cell paracrine and autocrine signaling. Demonstrating the procedures will be Aben Abraham, an undergraduate student, and Joshua White, a graduate student from the Takayama lab. Begin by dissolving the two different polymers into the specific medium that will be used in your experiments. In this example, polyethylene glycol, also known as PEG, and dextrin, also known as DEX, have molecular weights of 35 kilodaltons and 500 kilodaltons, respectively. Prepare 16 2 milliliter samples in 15 milliliter conical tubes, each with different concentrations of PEG and DEX, similar to the